Welcome to Tax Chat. It's a series of chats with the faculty at the Swishti Manipal Institute of Art, Design and Technology. We have people here whom you won't meet anywhere else, and you'll be taught by faculty who have the most incredible experiences on tap. With me today is Jeshima. He's a visual artist and a printmaker. Jeshima, tell us a little bit about your story, your personal story before you came to be at Swishti Manipal Institute of Art, Design and Technology. Well, um, I started off as an animator. Um, I was working as a cleanup artist at, uh, within a small studio. We were working on a Disney project. Um, I sort of worked there for six months, and uh, and that was the time when all the hand-drawn things were taken over by the softwares. So, uh, so they introduced a new software, and I seemed to not like it, so I had to quit the job. And I started working as a scenographer theater because I've always been interested in tinkering things. So I worked with a uh, premier institute called Rangashankara for well over 10 years, uh, building the sets, um, designing the sets. Um, also at the same time I started a small studio, uh, a printmaking studio, uh, it's called Atlio Prati. And we started looking at printmaking infrastructure and supporting young people who are interested in printmaking and who wants a space to come and work. And uh, yeah, that's when uh, Shishti also approached us to set up the train making studio here. Um, that's how I think. Your workshops are among the most sought after by students. And when they come out of them, they say it was a very intense time and you know, we learn so much. Um, so tell us a little bit about your work process. What, when students come to a workshop, when they come to your class, how do you prepare and what is the sort of world that you immerse them into? For almost a year now, uh, we are working on this new program at Shishti, the Atliers and Labs, and uh, uh, it's fairly an open space. Basically, a studio, uh, me and uh, co-faculty, Siddharth, uh, we're always there. And students approach uh, to us uh, with different projects in mind uh, with respect to print making. And uh, each one has their own way to approach towards the technique. And some wants to do a product, some wants to explore the technique. So we sort of work hand in hand. Every mind, every approach, it's a different scene. Looking forward now, um, after this collaboration and this merger with Mahi, the bigger universe, what are the things that you think we can do differently now or that you can add to your portfolio after this merger with Mahi? I think probably uh, setting up a, a, a print making studio uh, world class would be the first thing you know, which I would be excited about and probably uh, keeping it open for public because uh, there are no more spaces for these kind of practices uh, as more and more hyper real things are happening. Uh, I'm looking forward for uh, an open space where anyone can walk in and make use of the studio. Uh, this is more a personal question. Tell me how Jeshima the person impacts on Jeshima the faculty and how those two worlds uh, sort of merge when you teach. No, I think it's the other way around. Uh, Jeshima as a faculty because as a, as a person who has a practice towards printmaking uh, for well over 12 years, I've, I've developed a certain approach towards it and I'm very rigid. Right? When I started teaching, uh, if there is something, uh, if there is, let's say, a problem, I'm working with 50 students. There are 50 minds looking at that problem. So each one approach it in different way. So I think uh, it, it works the other way around. You know, it uh, really helps me to develop my own practice. Teaching. So the, the, the students challenging you and uh, looking at things differently helps you develop your own practice. Yeah. And think differently about your own work. Share, can you take that, little, that idea a little further? Just how, with how it's worked in a few practical ways? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, like for example, if you, if you look at um, I, I mean, I, I'll have to talk print specific or the technique specific. If you just take it, screen printing as an example. Uh, when when you start a unit, when you're explaining certain things to students, and uh, there are 60 minds who are curious about a technique, and uh, each one, someone will be interested in uh, the materiality, someone will be interested in the possibility, someone will be interested in how to employ the product. So, uh, I, I'm well, I'm only talking about the technique in its own right, but uh, they come up with these questions and that really helps me to relook at my own practice and you know, deliver it in a new way every time. 
just you know one story one anecdote that for you sums up your time with Srishti and makes you feel you know uh, is, makes it all worth it for you any story any anecdote I think uh, it, it was at the start of 2019 uh, I think all the faculty members were part of a, uh, a workshop uh, which happened at Hive and I really thoroughly enjoyed that workshop because uh, it gave me a, a, a a solid understanding of what Sushri is and uh, yeah, there, there were some cherished moments in the workshop. Yashima, thank you very much. Thank you.